The Trip Time Characteristic tool is used to test the overcurrent curves of a recloser control. There are two possible test modes available. The Trip Time Test Only mode is used to test a single curve in the recloser control. In this mode, the software will change the circuit breaker auxiliary contacts back to a closed position after each trip to prevent the controller from locking out. With the Full Sequence to Lockout mode, you can test up to two curves commonly found in a fuse saving scheme. In this tutorial, the TCC104 Fast Curve and the TCC117 Slow Curve will be tested, simulating a full sequence to lockout. The fast and slow curves must be selected from their respective drop down lists. After initial installation, the drop down list for the fast and slow curve will be empty. You will need to define the curves which should be available for testing in the Curve Management Library within the System Settings. The default list in the Curve Management Library contains a set of standardized curves. Simply select and add the curves to your default list. The best practice is to select only those curves which are commonly used in your distribution network. This creates a curve management library specific to your company's standards. Curves can always be added or deleted at a later time. By adding the curves, you can now close the curve management library and select both the fast and slow curves from the drop down lists. If no fuse saving scheme is being used, you can also select only a fast curve. Now enter the current pickup value found in the recloser control settings. The last shot on fast curve field defines the number of trips using the fast curve before continuing to test on the slow curve. In this tutorial, we will set this field to two shots according to the setting found in the recloser control. If the curves in your recloser control setting use adders, multipliers, or specify a minimum response time, add the values in the corresponding fields. On the Prefault screen, the duration of the prefault state is defined. During the prefault state, the load current specified in the hardware configuration is output on all three phases. If you are using voltages, you can adjust the load angle to simulate a real-time load condition. The Fault State screen allows you to configure the type of fault which should be simulated. Always make sure that you select a fault type that matches your curves and pickup value in the Curves screen. If you are using voltages, you can enter the fault voltage as a percentage of the nominal voltage and the phase angle. For example, if you intend to test directional overcurrent, simply change the fault angle to simulate a reverse fault. After selecting the fault type, you can define the sequence of test points by continuing to the Sequence screen. The maximum dead time can be defined in this field. This time is used to abort the test if no close signal occurs within the allotted dead time. It has to be longer than the slowest reclosing time and shorter than the reset time. The relative and absolute test tolerance values are used to automatically assess the test results from the completed test. Now select the number of test shots that you want to execute. This number should correspond to the shots to lockout found in the recloser control settings. In this example, the controller is programmed to four shots to lockout. In the table below, you can specify the magnitude of the fault current for each shot. The resulting trip time is calculated from the selected curves and the pickup value from the curves screen. From the table, you can see that for the third and fourth test shots, the trip times are slower because the controller now trips on the slow curve. This is also visible in the graph, where the test points are shown as plus signs on the curves. After defining all test points and tolerances, you can proceed to the test screen and start the test. 
If the test results are within the specified tolerance, a green plus indicates a positively assessed result. A red X indicates a failed test result. Once all tests are finished, the outputs switch off automatically. A more detailed view of the graph can be seen by zooming in or moving the blue line. Click into the graph to take a closer look at the measured trip times. Before proceeding with the next test, save the results to a report.